Well, we've been working all summer on making produce for the produce market, and I've been working at the same time on getting the, uh, the farm stand done. So now we need a place to display that produce. So today I'm going to show you how to make this simple display angled display table to go into a farm stand, or I'm sure you can think of someplace else to use it. So stay tuned and see how easy it is to make this display table. Alright, so today we're making a remake of this bench. This is the bench I've been using for photos. This is one I made oh, probably a month or two ago to uh, kind of work the kinks out of the pattern and kind of figure out what I wanted to do. But now I've been working on the farm stand, the building that the farm stand will go on into, and if you check the blog you can kind of keep up with what's going on with that. But this isn't going to fit in there. It's too deep this way. I'm going to make this one three inches from front to back. I'm going to make the one today two inches from front to back. And this one's shorter. It's, um, how long did I make this? I made this one six inches, and I'm actually making the one today about nine and a half inches long. So, little variations. So let me get out the pieces of wood we're going to use and then we can get started. Alright, now first off I'm going to be totally honest with you. I actually made this yesterday, did a video, got it all done, and didn't like how it came out. So I pulled it apart and that's why there's some little remnants of glue and paper and such on these pieces of wood. Uh, but I didn't want to throw away the wood. That's, there's a lot of lumber in this and I was out of quarter inch by quarter inch strip wood. So we're just going to pretend that these little bits of glue aren't here anymore. So these are the pieces we need to cut. We need a table top. This part right here that the uh, produce boxes will sit on. Make that out of 1 16th inch thick wood and it needs to be 9 and a half inches long by 2 inches wide. The front lip is an 8th inch by 8th inch piece of strip wood and it's the same length as the table top, 9 and a half inches. We need four long brace pieces and these are each nine inches long. These are made out of quarter inch by quarter inch strip wood. We need two front legs. These are quarter inch by quarter inch and they're three inches long. We need two back legs. The same quarter inch by quarter inch strip wood and they are three and a half inches long. And then we need six short brace pieces and they are each one and a half inches long. And they're also the quarter inch strip wood. These sizes for all these pieces of wood will be in the blog post that goes with this video. So be sure and check that out and I'll tell you a little bit about how I messed up and why I had to take apart the first table. So let me get my gluing jig up here and get my glue out and we can start putting this together. Alright, so I've got my gluing jig sitting here. I've got some tacky glue here. Normally I would use some Zappa Gap super glue in this process, but I'm totally out of super glue right now. I used it all up yesterday. So we are going to take our, our um, front legs. We're going to put our front legs up against the edges of our gluing jig. We're going to take our short brace pieces. We're going to dip them both ends into our tacky glue. And we also have, wait a minute, what did I do with it? Two, four, six. This one. Hold on, which one of these is the wrong size? This one is my spacer. I've got this extra piece of quarter inch square strip wood. This is a spacer. I'm using that, and I'll be using it again when I put the long brace piece in. I'm putting that below my bottom piece. I want this, stri this brace, if you can see this brace right here, to sit up a quarter inch off the floor. So that's why I do that. Now, another piece. And this one goes at the top of the front leg. And the next piece, 
we're going to go in the middle, the middle-ish. It doesn't have to be exact because like I said, I am covering my table. If you are not going to put a cover on yours, I want to wrap mine up with um, oh, a um, piece of cardstock to make it look like it's enclosed and because I don't want it to de detract from my produce. If you aren't going to do that, then you probably want to mark the center leg placement. So again, we do the same thing. We dip both ends in the glue, line it up against this. Line it up against this, right at the top. And line number three up towards the middle. And now run this leg right up against. And since this is since I don't have super glue in this, this is going to have to sit until it's dry. If I had super glue of some kind, whether it would be fast grab or um, uh, Zappa Gap or a regular super glue from the store, it would would not need to set up as much. So I'm going to put my magnets here to hold this, and we're going to let this glue dry on there. In the meantime, we can prepare our tabletop. We've got our tabletop and we've got our eighth inch strip. And I need some clothespins. I want to have four clothespins. Now I'm going to run some glue right down the edge of this eighth inch strip. Now if you were going to stain your table, you would have already stained it before you started um, gluing. If you're going to paint it, or I'm going to just leave this one natural, I'm not going to put any kind of finish on it. I don't have to worry about that. Just a toothpick, kind of wipe up this glue a little bit. And we want this right at the edge and lined up. And now, these are clothes pins. Oops. And it helps if you can get it in that little notch. There's a little notch in your clothes pin. Kind of line that up with the, the piece of wood. So there. Now we just have to wait for the glue to dry, and then we can continue with our assembly. All right, so now it's time to put our first long brace piece on. And the first thing I'm going to do is put, I'm going to stand that up so it's nice and square. I'm going to get some glue and I'm going to take one of my long brace pieces. I'm going to put glue on both ends of it. Now I'm going to line that up with the top of the back. And I'm going to put the other, the other end on. We need to make sure that it's nicely lined up. And now we're going to actually just slide one of these other pieces in just to make sure that this is square. And now we'll just let this sit. Now this one will have to set up uh, for probably at least a half hour and then it will be set up enough that we can go on to our next now step. Now we're going to put in two, actually two pieces, so I want to move my magnets. And I want to turn this so it's laying on its front and against this edge of my jig. Because I need to put in the piece here and the piece here. So I'm going to put some glue on the end of one of these pieces. And I'm going to very carefully work that in right there.
now. I'm going to stand, and I've got an extra piece here, so I'm going to put that piece in too. Because I want this to line up with that other piece. You'll notice I'm changing where I'm putting my legs from where I had it on my original one. I'll show you that in just a second when I get this all clamped. Before, I just ran one brace here. I'm putting one here, and then when these are all dry, I'm going to put one in the back. Since I'm covering the outside edge of this, it will work better to have this at the front edge, and it will make it a little more stable. So when this glue gets dry, we'll be back, and we'll put in the last piece, and we can probably then put the top on. Okay, this is set for a few minutes, so hopefully it's okay to move it again. Because I really want to just get done. So we'll take this final piece and glue it in. that sit there because we are now going to glue on our top and our top will really only rest let's see how I can put this it's going to sit like this it really if you look at the side of the one of the other one it rests on the very front edge of both pieces it doesn't rest on the whole piece so that means I just need to run two beads of glue one here, and you can have excess glue up on top, it's okay. Stuff on the front will sh might show, but the stuff up on top won't. And then again, another bead, I'm trying to make sure I stay in camera. This new work table is set up different, and my com camera has to be in a different place in relationship to my work. And uh, I have a really bad habit of working away and then discovering that the camera couldn't see what I was doing. Let that sit for just a second. Because remember, a tacky glue, if we let it sit for a few seconds, it will get tackier. It's one of the beauties of tacky glue. Right now, put this on. Wipe that glue away from the front edge. And now this just needs to set up and dry. So I'm going to leave this sitting here and let it dry. And when it's dry, we'll cover the um, whole piece with some paper. And then I can take some pictures and show you how it looks in the farm stand so far. Okay, our bench is dry. Glue is all set up. Um, so now it's time to put our cover on. And what I've done is I've cut some cardstock pieces. I cut one piece to fit here. And I cut one piece to fit here. And these are scored so they'll make nice corners. And I'm wrapping them around and then I'll be gluing this piece that exactly fits the front onto the front. So let's go ahead and spread some glue and get this on. And then our bench will pretty much be done. Um, once this paper, the glue on this paper dries, it will be complete. This one on this end, lining up the corner. That's the camera. And I think I want to clamp this. And let's see, is that going to make a mark? I'm actually going to put, what am I going to put there? I don't want to take a chance on putting a mark on my paper. 
So I'm going to put a, a craft stick underneath my clothespin. It'll help to hold a more even pressure. It's not going to open far enough. But by having the craft stick there, we won't get any kind of a mark from our from that. Because sometimes when you glue and then um, the wet glue underneath can cause the paper to indent in on um, on there, and that wouldn't look good. This one in again, lining up. Some more crab sticks up here because it's just easier. There, now we'll run some glue here, here, on these edges. We'll put this paper on this end. I don't want to go too close to the end so because I don't want the glue to ooze out around the sides. There we go. So once this paper, this glue on this paper dries, I will get some pictures. And uh, this can move into the farm stand. So I hope you enjoyed this project. I hope you can use it somewhere. Um, be sure and check us out on Facebook. Check the blog. And have fun with your minis. And I'll talk to you next week. Bye.